What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to lip slide. So a lip slide is one of those old tricks that was invented on vert and then it was transitioned to rails and ledges. So a backside board slide and a front side lip slide feel like the same trick. They're sliding the same way on the rail. The difference is with a backside board slide you're ollieing and just lifting your front wheels over the rail. With a front side lip slide, you're ollieing, doing a little bit of a 180, throwing your weight over the rail, throwing your back wheels over the rail, and sliding. So it really just depends on which side of the rail you're on. If the rail's behind you and you're sliding forward, it's a board slide. If the rail's in front of you and you're sliding, with your face facing forward. It's a lip slide. Before you learn how to lip slide, you need to be really good at board slides and you need to have your 180s down both ways, front side and back side 180. The reason you need to have those down is because to do a lip slide, you have to ollie throw your weight over the rail and do like a late 180. So before you learn this trick, get comfortable getting into the lip slide position on a ledge. You want to start off on something kind of small with this trick. You definitely don't want to start off with a rail that's above your waist. You want to start off with something really tiny. Before you learn this trick, you need to get comfortable leaning your weight over the rail. So roll up to the rail a few times and just kind of lean your weight over it. So after that, you're gonna approach the rail with a little bit of speed. You just wanna do the very end of the rail at first. I would come at the rail at a slight angle at first. When you get a little bit better at this trick, you can come completely parallel with the rail, but come at a slight angle at first. So before you even pop, you're gonna be leaning your weight over the rail. You're gonna ollie, do a late half 180, while you're going towards the rail, leaning your weight over it, lift those back wheels over the rail, let them hit the rail. Just do the last few inches of it at first and go kind of fast. I feel like this trick is easier if you go faster. For me, if you go too slow, it's just going to stick or you're going to break your board. This is definitely a trick that breaks boards. It's easier if you have rails on the bottom of your board. It's going to make your board a little bit stronger and it's going to make the rail slide a little bit better because when you're ollieing up over the rail and coming straight down onto the rail, it's definitely really easy to break a board, especially if you're going slow. Because if you're going slow, all of your weight and all of your momentum is going straight down instead of forward. So going faster is going to be better for this trick. Make sure you're really good at board slides before you even do this trick. So if you're really good at board slides, once you get into the trick, you know how to slide and you know how to come out of it. Coming out of this trick, all you really do is turn your shoulders, your board's going to follow, you fall off the rail and roll away. If you're going to try this trick, I would get a strong board, Maybe something with some carbon fiber in it or a board with rails because it's definitely a board breaker. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Every book has been
discarded from the bookshelf can tell down so well. 